Hello again, one and all, and welcome to another episode of Tuesday's q and I hope everybody's had a first good first week of the year, and everything is going well. And as you can see, um, I have somebody here, and uh, uh, he's being a little crazy. Hello, Little Creeper. Hi. Little Creeper's helping me. Uh, I guess you could call it helping me do some of the building here for the Q&A. HQ, the Q&A HQ, and uh, we are going to uh, continue working on this. As you can see, we've got some of it done here, and little, uh, little Creeper has been a lot of help, so we're going to continue working on that and hopefully have more of it done by the next episode. But meanwhile, let's take a look to see what the next questions are. Yay! All right, let's open up the chest. Find out what we have. Here's our other books. I'm going to have to fill up another chest with these guys soon. We've got two new books. And it looks like we've got some stuff involving water and lava and some armor and fire resistance potions. So it looks like I might be doing some stuff with lava today. So let's take these books and take all these items. All right, and the little creeper is running around. He's going to help me out here. He has a copy of this armor on already. Let's see what we're working on here. Books. Cookies. First one. I like cookies. January 7th from Andy B on PC. Thanks again, Andy. I really appreciate you putting all these questions in there. It makes it a lot more fun. Can you make an infinite lava? Can you make an infinite lava source? That's a good question because lots of people have asked that uh, before. I've heard that from many different places. So we'll have to check on that one. And then let's see what the next one is. Oh, well, the next one is one that I came up with. Does armor take damage from lava if you have fire resistance on? Well, there's two different ways of having fire resistance on. You can have fire resistance on the armor itself, which is what this potion? is. Or you can have the potion. So we'll check both of those. All right, so we're going to go get things set up here for testing. And Little Creeper is going to help me out. And as soon as we are all set, and hold on, stand right, stand next to me, Little Creeper. Okay. Stand next to me. There we are. There we are. All right. Oh, sorry. Breaking things. Don't break things. Don't break things. Look up and say, all right, we'll be right back. All right, we will be right back. All right. Okay, I think we found a good place to try this out here. All right, we all know that there are two different ways, really, that people use to make infinite, infinite water sources. So it's like one is a three, one by three here. So if you put one thing of water on one side and make a little creeper wash down, and then you put one bucket of water on the other side, you end up with an infinite water source that you can draw from the center. Just Nothing like, happens. yep, little creeper did that and water came back. Not a problem. Now the question is, can you do the same thing with lava? Now, little creeper, I suggest you not stand in here. Okay. All right. I'll just stand in the water. Okay, you stand in the water. All right. And here we go. Lava on one side. Flows that way. Now let's put it in this side. Right. It looks like something's still there. Can you draw lava from that center spot, little creeper? Nope. All right, so it is not an infinite lava source that way. So let me, I'm going to add one. What if we do, well, you can draw from one end. If I put the lava in the center here, now it looks similar to like the water is. Now draw from the center. Okay. All right, we got one from the center. Now can you draw another time? No. Nope. All That's right. Yes, from the side. From the side. From the middle. All right, so it's not, we cannot get an infinite lava source that way. All right. Little Creeper, come on over here. We're going to try a different spot now. But be careful of the lava. All right. Here is... May the... I place this lava bucket somewhere? Yeah, you can place it. Well, hold on a second. I'll tell you in just a second. We're going to do first off the water. Okay. You do the water by doing one corner and then the diagonal corner. Like Little Creeper just did. And that makes well, infinite water source. Now you can draw from any place in here. And the water will flow back. And let me see. Yep, 
There he goes. He did it. Now we got to find out, does the lava work the same way? All right, I'm going to put one in this corner. And then I will do the other. Okay, you do the other corner. All right, so we've got two corners. Uh, it doesn't look nice and smooth like the water does, so I'm going to fill in the other corner. these other corners and see if by doing that it does. Okay, so now we got it nice and smooth. Now draw from any one of the corners. Let's see if it fills in. It fills in, but it does not make an infinite lava source. All right, so we're done there. That doesn't work. So let's go up one more. Water, you don't have to do this before, but let's see. What if we did with lava this way? Fill in a three by three space. What's right here? And there it goes. All right, so now we have three by three. So if the center one is surrounded by lava, Let's see. So let's see if that will do it. Can you draw from the center one? I'm just organizing my buckets. All right. Okay. Center. That's actually somewhere else. Yep. Center. There's the center. And looks like, can you draw from the center again? No, it ends up, we end up choosing from the side then, don't you? Center after you choose from the center mm. first time. All right, so there we go. Can you choose from a corner? Yes, but fill back in the wrong way. All right, there we go. We now know that this does not work this way. So now there's no way, there's no way that you do with water that you can make an infinite lot of lava source. So um, we can't create one like this. So, uh, but there's one other thing I think we can do in order to uh, make sure that you can have um, as much lava as you could ever need. All right, hold on. We're gonna. I'm gonna go go uh, show you what you need to do to get um, pretty much infinite source of lava. All right, hold on. We'll be right back. All right, you wanted an infinite lava source. Here you go. All the lava you could ever use. <laughs> okay, time for the second question. Asking about fire resistance and damage on armor. So I have a little creeper <laughs> in a full diamond armor set with fire protection 4 on it. So we got to see, first off, how, what happens here. So hold on a second, little creeper. What little creeper is going to do is he's going to walk right through this lava and into the water. He's going to take off that armor, put it in here. He's going to take out a new set of armor. Yep. He's then going to take drink a fire, fire resistance potion and then do the same thing. And we're going to see what happens to the armor in both cases. All right, so let's do this first time here. All right, little creeper, walk through the lava and into the water. There we go. All right, now he's going to take off that armor. All right, little creeper is now suited up in his new set of armor. No damage on this one again. And he has now drank a fire resistance potion. So let's see what happens now. Walk on through and into the water. Well, he kind of, he, he kind of, uh, miss the water, so he's still on fire there. All right, so he's going to take that and he's going to put that in the in the trunk also, in the chest also. And while little creeper plays in the lava, let's take a look here. All right, so this is the armor that he wore when he walked through with just the armor. Fire protection looks like it takes damage while in the lava. When you have a fire protection potion on, nothing takes damage. That works out nicely, doesn't it? All right, Save then. Lava. All right. Crazy little creeper. Does armor take damage from lava if you have fire resistance on? No. It's yes. For fire resist 
armor. No, for fire resist potion. That's interesting. All right. Second question. Can you make an infinite lava source? No. The answer is no. Not unless You're in the nether. you count the nether. Yeah. And there we go. All done. Okay, little creeper. You gonna say goodbye? Bye, everybody. Until next time, give me all your questions so we can play around and have some more fun getting you answers. All right. Talk to you soon.